Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is Absolute Scenes right now on FC24 with some leaks about an evolution that will allow us to upgrade for the first time this year icons to a new level through playing games through evolutions. Yes, it is true, an icon evolution has been leaked. We have to take a look at that. It seems crazy to say taking an icon and evolving them to a higher rated version just seems nuts so we got to take a look at that will it be hyped or will it not be hyped it's happening soon so there's a lot to talk about there and it's confirmed fc versus team two with some leaks being posted yesterday will be dropped on friday so we'll take a look at some leaks for that and more leaks for sbc players upcoming including a player of the month and an end of an era sbc so a lot to talk about if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new now what there's not a lot to talk about is yesterday's content guys I tweeted this out yesterday right after the content drop. I can't remember a day in the past couple years on this game where they haven't dropped a new SBC. Usually it's SBCs or multiple SBCs every single day. Yesterday, there was literally nothing. No SBCs, no lightning rounds, maybe a refresh of objective or something. But really, all that we had was the brand new team of the week, which that was crazy to have that little content yesterday. It's wild. Yes, we see this before big time promos like team of the year, right? They pull back the content, make it seem really dead, and then it goes full force for a big promo like team of the year. But it was just wild yesterday to only have a team of the week. Now, there is a pretty crazy card in team of the week, and it's a 95 pace, the fastest center back in the game. Teo Hernandez position change. He can play left mid, left back, and center back with 95 pace, and he is just shy of a million coins with the very rare aspect of this card being on the market and not having any promo packs yesterday. This whole team of the week, um, especially Teo Hernandez, is pretty rare and didn't get supplied that much. Now, a lot of them are already discard priced because that's where they were always going to be, but Frankie Dion got an in for him and so did Lautaro Martinez. It's really a pretty mid team of the week with Teo and Dion being probably the best cards there. And you know, somewhere down the line, a couple of these cards will be cracked for evolutions as well. You never know. So look through team of the weeks for that sort of thing. Team League prices are down 31,000 coins per card with the content, the way that it's been this week. It makes sense that that side of the market is going down because we don't have much more demand there. So without too much else to talk about from yesterday, we got to go straight into the big news, right? Let's talk about this evolution, guys, because it actually started yesterday before there was any leaks. Icon prices yesterday just started flying base icon prices went up a bunch yesterday before the content drop i remember i literally woke up yesterday and i looked at footman and this is what i saw and i was like all right there's definitely some sort of evolution here about icons because when else would icons be on the top of their footman popular page on the app and right away i was like oh my gosh these cards are up so much in price you have to sell in the hype and if you did GG's. If you had any of these, if you bought on the way up, if you have one in your club, if you have one on your team, you were trying out or anything like that, from 166k to 280,000 coins, this Essien card went. And a lot of these icons went up a lot yesterday and then started to go down. I was actually able to flip three petites as he had an initial spike. He's now 111,000 coins. Petit went from 100k all the way to 179. And then he went down right here to 136. I bought three petites here in the 120s and I sold a couple of them too early. But then I sold another one at 140. 9, 150 right before the content drop and when the evolution that these were going up so much for didn't actually drop yesterday people started to sell they went down 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 and then as the leaks came out this petite doesn't fit in the evolution he just continues to drop back down to where his price was but that was the craziness of the market yesterday was seeing these icon cards go up so much and guys think about it right these icons if there were ever going to be an evo for them they would probably a lot of them as we're seeing already on the market go extinct the ones that are going to fit the evolution because icons are just so rare on the market compared to promo cards compared to golds especially that's why the bronzes and the silvers go extinct so fast right because they're really rare same thing with the icons so that's why their prices have been doing a whole lot of this with these leaks and with people investing and trading and trying to figure out what fits and what card would be good in evolution well we know what the evolution is going to look like based off of the leaks now let's take a look at this guys because the upgrade i'm just saying from a faced value the upgrade looks 
good. And here is the leak right here from Rick and Foot Police. They combined to make this leak. Rick's leaks, Foot Police's leaks have been pretty much spot on recently, especially for Evos, right? Especially for the requirements, they have been basically spot on. And this is what he's saying. Overall, max 89, pace max 86, shooting minimum 78, Passing max 91 and physical max 87, it gains the playstyle of Tiki Taka and first touch, and it has to be rarity icon that matters. We'll talk about that in a second. And the price is 200,000 coins, the most expensive evolution that we have had yet to date. This will take the place. I think Pitch Commander was 150k. I think this is the most expensive Evo that we've had. Now it's a plus two overall, plus three pace. Four shooting, three passing, dribbling, and physical, and two defense. It definitely seems like an icon Evo that is formatted for a midfielder or an attacker, especially with plus four shooting that is solid. Three pace, three passing, three dribbles, not bad either. The play styles that you get, Tiki Taka first touch, definitely for a midfielder or an attacker as well. And even with the way that they have the stats, right? Max 86 pace, minimum 78 shooting, so you can't put a center back or a lot of defensive midfielders in here as well. So this is the Evo guys. This is the Evo right here. 200,000 coins for this upgrade on an icon. Now with these requirements, who fits this evolution? Because the upgrade looks pretty good. I know it's 200,000 coins. We're going to talk about it, right? It's expensive, but who fits this, right? This is who fits the Evo. And this is the problem. There are only 26 icons that fit this evolution because as it says in the requirements here, and the way that I understand this is, and what Rick tweeted out later to clarify based off of what he believes as well, the rarity icon is based off of the card design. It's not the league. So technically, with these requirements, there would be a lot of other icons or a couple other icons that would fit this evolution, but since it's only base icons, the pool is so small. I'm not saying if it was just all icons like promo icons, it'd be a ton, but it'd add a couple more in, especially some that a lot of us may have in our clubs. Socrates, probably the most hyped card or a top three most hyped card for this evolution. Think about the Socrates, right? He's going to go to 91 rated. He's going to get plus three shooting, 91 shooting. He's or sorry, plus four shooting. He's going to go to 92 shooting, 91 passing, uh, 91 dribbling and 85 pace. He is really going to look cracked. This is going to be a pretty insane card. Four star skills, five star weak foot. He, but he's extinct, right? And that's going to be the problem. If you have the Socrates in the club, or if you have Zola, Gerard, Robin Van Persie, those are the four icons that are extinct right now on the market. And there's probably going to be a couple others that go extinct as well for this Evo. These are the ones that if you probably have it in the club, it's worth it to do. Think about it. These cards are extinct. So if you're going to try to snipe it, if you're going to try, Van, try to snipe Van Persie, it's 140. 40,000 coins to snipe the card and then to go and do the evo on top of that you'd be spending 340,000 coins 410,000 coins if you want to do gerard now gerard could be really good right power shot plus he's going to go to 92 shooting as well 91 passing and 86 dribble with um 81 pace on the card like it's going to be a sizable upgrade for some of those but i really feel like this is an l evo guys like it is especially for some of these other icons down here schweinsteiger could be decent ballot could be decent nedved could be decent as well maybe Shevchenko. But if you think about it, we've had a lot of promo icons already this year. And even for like Patrick Clivert, who fits this evolution, um, he's got other icons already in this game. A Dynasty's card that is 89, that is a plus two over his regular icon card. They gave him plus seven pace on that card, right? Only plus two shooting. But like, that's an 80,000 coin card in the market. The promo icons are pretty cheap, and that's kind of what you're trying to get here is you're making your base icon upgrade into maybe, like you could say, the mid version of old FIFAs. It just seems like the icons that are av available are not that good, and they're not going to be worth how much you have to put into it unless you already have one untradeable, and then it's kind of cool to get the upgrade. I hope there's a special car design for this, but I can't imagine that there would be. Um, I kind of think it might end up making these cards look like they might not even be like the icon card type anymore they might have an evo card type and to me that's an l like i want my icons to stick out and look cool so this evo the more and more that i look at it it has a lot of hype because it's the first time we can evo an icon but it seems mid guys here's the crazy thing root hullets winter wild cards icon card fits all the requirements for this evo if this evo were to allow all types of icons to be evolved 
If you did this SBC like I did, he technically fits the requirements, right? Max 89 rated, his pace is below 86. He's got the shooting minimum met, and his passing and physical do not go above 91 for passing and 87 for physical. He fits the evolution, but he's not a base icon, so I don't believe he'll be able to be fit in it. Also, on a cheaper budget, Verone. I uh, believe the 87 Dynasty's Verone, you get a dynamic image out of this. He fits the Evo as well for stats, but he actually doesn't fit it because it's not a base icon. Guys, it's a, such a cool concept, man. Like when the hero upgrade came out, just to mention that again, it was so cool to see an opportunity to upgrade a hero into something better. But that evolution as well wasn't even that insane. Like the Robbie Keane, Park Ji Sung, that one was okay. Some people put, I think, Bomb Pastor or maybe Captivia into that Evo. But like with icons, everything with icons is like heroes are here and icons are here. There's so much hype with it, but I just think it's going to end up being an L, guys. With the way that it looks, the cards that are available based off the leaks, with the stats that they put in there, guys, it, there are so many icons that are like one stat off. Like base icons, like Petit, who I was looking at, who I traded with yesterday. If Petit had one higher shooting, he would fit the evolution. But he doesn't because he doesn't. He has 77 shooting instead of 78, right? There's so many examples like that. It's like this evolution is specifically crafted to take out so many players that would fit and that would be really good, um, except maybe a shooting stat or the physical stat or maybe even the pace stat, right? Especially for a lot of the defenders is making them ineligible for this evolution. So it's a bit, I guess, disappointing to see that. Now, when's it going to drop? I guess there's a shout that it could drop today, but I'm not expecting it today. Probably on the weekend, right? We've seen on the weekend um a lot of these evos dropped recently so i would expect that also a lot of people have been buying and selling these icons if you look at the popular page on footbin there's some icons in here that don't fit fernando torres he's got too much pace he doesn't fit lam he doesn't have enough shooting he doesn't fit Eto, no way he fits right 92 pace 90 shooting but a lot of people have been thinking that some of these cards do fit like zambrata doesn't fit as well and he was a card that people were so excited to evo but, you know, the leaks uh, determine that these cards don't fit and their prices have started to come down a lot. So there's a lot of confusion on what cards fit. But once again, based off this leak, there's only like 26 icons that fit. And that's why it is disappointing. So maybe Friday, maybe today, since it doesn't look like that sick of an Evo, it actually could drop. We'll have to see. We'll be watching out for that. But that is, that's the crazy icon leaks, man. And that is the craziness that's going on in this game right now. I'm disappointed that it's not as cool as it maybe could be but there will be more opportunities to evo those cards in the future now let's take a look at some other big news related to versus right we have a confirmed team two right we didn't know it doesn't say team one here in the game but on the website it does it looks like there is going to be cards and packs for this next week and maybe still we don't know maybe ea is going to try to run a team of the year warm-up series promo alongside of fc versus that's something they usually do the week before team of the year so that is still a bit unknown i guess a loading screen would kind of confirm that and we'll figure that out probably a little bit more today on Thursday but I want to show you guys some of the leaked players that are coming into packs tomorrow on Friday first of all Rodri which is like wait a second a lot of people are putting Rodri in their team of the year votes so does this mean Rodri's not getting a team of the year you would think maybe but it's really unknown like there's no rules that said that Rodri could get a versus card and then could also get a team of the year or couldn't get a team of the year right after that it's very possible but in my opinion it would be likely that he's not in team of the year if he's in this promo. Even though this promo is before the team of the year vote is over, I don't know. There's a lot of times, I, don't, I can't think of an example in my head where there's been a card that's got a promo card right before team of the year and then also had a team of the year. That just doesn't make sense for what EA would want to do, especially for fans of this player that would want to buy packs to get the card, right? So I would maybe think that Rodri's not in team of the year, but who knows? Uh, this could be an interesting card. Maybe they position change him. Uh, to center back to an outside i don't know i'm curious right with these fire and ice versions you get different play styles play style pluses and all that we have rudiger as well uh will they transfer him from one of them being a center back one be a left back or a right back maybe one be a center defensive mid who knows but we're getting a rudiger set of promo cards for fire or ice team two as well and tamori some banger center backs here rudiger and tamori um, th those could be pretty nice cards as well. Again, probably defensive CDM. I'm not sure what positions they'll do, but those are player leaks that we have right now for upcoming versus cards. Some other ones, we've got ourselves a Marcus Rashford, probably the headline player, a promo card for Rashford, maybe a striker version, maybe a center attacking mid version. 
Um, please give a weak foot upgrade to at least one of them. This is going to be a, the headliner of the promo. It's going to be very, very expensive. Kind of like, I guess, the Neymar of Team 1 or maybe the Hyunmin Sun. Going to be over a million coins, maybe even two million coins. Who knows? Depending on how good the upgrade is, depending upon the versions that they give him with the Fire and the Ice. So Rashford is getting another promo card. And so is, well, not. This is the first version for Felix. Felix is getting a promo card as well. If these, like, these are obviously, obviously predicted stats, but those stats look really, really cracked. Um, this could be cool. Joao Felix, maybe one's a wing, maybe one's a cam or a striker for him. And that is a pretty big name card to be leaked as well. Especially think about all the Barca links that are going to be coming out. That Gavi SBC, it's still the SBC we think would come out on Friday. Big player name SBC. A lot of Barca links potentially be watching for those um, to rise a little bit if the SBC is good. It's all going to depend on the price of the SBC for Gavi. Um, so, yeah, keep that in mind as well. And we did actually have one more team of the year icon leak yesterday, Mia Ham. So we have Ham 9 and R9 both going to be in packs for team of the year, which is pretty crazy so right now those are all the leaks of players that are going to be coming friday of course mia ham will be a part of team of the year not coming friday for versus team two watch out for more versus team two leaks coming very soon because i would 100 expect to see more names dropped pretty soon today on this game now let's talk about the market a little bit yesterday with things being so slow before we get to the player of the month leak and the end of an era yeah end of an era leak we gotta talk about that but before we get to that let's talk market a bit because today's thursday division rivals rewards days have been pretty good to the market in the past couple of weeks. I've just been lazy listing. 84s are lazy listing and lazy selling pretty nice. Sold a couple at 2.5 and 2.7K. I mean, fodder right now is just doing its thing, man. 83s, 1.2 to 1.3K. 84s are like 2.2 to 2.3. Um, yes, we have Rivals Rewards today. I think that honestly just fills people's clubs up with more of that low tier gold fodder they maybe need to go do an 84 times 5, to go do an 83 plus team of the week, right? And what do those require? 82, 83 rated squads. I think that the 82s to 83s to 84s and 5s can go up a little bit more today, even with marquee matchups and that tradable supply. They may take a slight hit after content drop, but uh, I think they should do good. Fodder should stay up and inflated um, until we get to tomorrow at 6 p.m. So sometime between, you, you might even be able to hold fodder all the way into Friday morning because I think Friday of last week, fodder prices went up a little bit right before they started to drop off. So whatever you want to do with fodder is up, up to you. Fodder has been so low. Like one if you bought 84s for under 1.8K, like I'm going to hold probably a lot of my 84s because if they go back that low again on the weekend, which they could, I'll just buy more, right? It's more of the higher tier stuff that I would maybe consider selling maybe an 88. I think I still think you can lazy list. Like you can probably get 23 to 24K on lazy listings for these 84s. 89s, you can probably get 39,000 coins. They're like 37 to 38 right now. And then 90 rated players are 61,000 coins a piece, which is freaking amazing. And yeah, I mean, those cards probably don't go back below 55K on the weekend in my opinion. So I'm even considering holding on to some of my 90 raids that I still have on my transfer list that I'm lazy listing. Um, I'm lazy listing these for like 65 to 67 K a couple at like 64, 63. And yeah, like that is crazy, crazy profit for 90 rated with only one SBC dropping an icon pack dropping. Um, earlier or icon pick dropping on sunday making these cards go up and just the other spcs that are out Cr really really crazy rise on those cards but fodder should be pretty steady i think today i'm not expecting lightning rounds today if they didn't drop lightning rounds yesterday why would they drop more global limit lightning round packs today on thursday as well so if you're trying to trade today i know a lot of you guys are like nate how can i grind the market um i would look again at low budget i'm, I'm saying it all time all the time right now but the low budget stuff continues to be the move hop on bids and just use footbin footbin is your best friend for fluctuation trades this ansu fati is a great card to trade with right he goes between like just under 200,000 coins, like 205 every day he hits. And then he goes back up to 220, which right now looks like he's about 215. But you hop on bids like this. Start price of 198. I might be able to catch this on a low bid at like 203 or 204. And then I can sell that card for like 220 to 225. Maybe even some of these cards go up a little bit extra because there's more gameplay demand today on a Thursday for um, the cup, right? Um, and of course, weekend league qualifiers. I feel like a lot of people play weekend league qualities on thursdays and that would be probably the main source of demand on the market and for team buying today now you saw me bid on an essentio here for 14k with a chem style should you try to invest in any of the versus cards because 
yeah, people are still going to be playing the cup today. And I think after Rivals Rewards, there could be a little bit of a rise. I definitely don't think these guys go more than like 20K. Maybe like, honestly, I'm buying these Essentios. I bought two of them under 14,000 coins. He started to go back up a little bit just because I think maybe I can lazy sell him for like 17 to 18,000 coins because people are playing the cup. But like we talked about early in the week, every single day that goes by, there's less and less people that are playing the cup. So there's technically less and less demand for these cars. So just be very careful with them as you're trading with them, as you're flipping with them. I know they go out of packs, but this is not a promo team that I would really think about right now wanting to invest in for an out of packs investment. Even as we head into the weekend, like at the very best opportunity, you have these cards going up during the weekend for a day or two or three before then we hit next week with team of the year news team of the year on the doorstep leaks about who's in the team leaks about what other content's going to be coming out for SBCs for you know upgrade packs people draining coins into upgrade packs to save those packs for team of the year next week could get really interesting and there should be some more panic so um I don't think that I look at this promo team and say oh yeah I would like to invest with team of the year um being literally right in front of us but also at the same time for some of the lower tier cards I mean a lot of us are thinking that we're not going to invest these cards are really rare so like a guy like Ramos he's rare Maybe there's quick flipping opportunities, but maybe there is somebody like the Essential. Maybe there is somebody on the lower budget like Spinazzola or maybe even somebody like the left back Kamavinga, right? You never know. A card like that could go up 20K on the weekend, but is it worth the risk right now? I'm going to stick to the lower tier stuff and stick to the stuff that is out of packs like Winter Wild Cards, um, Radioactives, Ultimate Dynasties, and all that sort of stuff for the most part and make sure that it's cheap for what. I look to buy now let's take a little bit of a look at what content could be today as well with some of those leaks involved always on thursdays what do we expect right say with me marquee matchups last week we had a mega pack in marquee matchups which was kind of cracked and torino and napoli players did go up right after content so watching here again they never fixed this remember this last week on thursday it was team overall rating minimum 18 it's still there so uh we'll see if they draw and draw up an 80 or an 18 overall minimum squad for, for one of those today that'll be interesting marquee matchups will watch the packs it'll bring in a little bit of tradable supply maybe some cards move on the market for that one of the last refresh days for the 84 times five i guess we have uh one day 13 hours to get these done so these will go away on friday um, so make sure you get those done for the last couple times. The 85 plus player pick going to go away as well. Crafting upgrade and the 81 double uh, or crafting upgrade still there. 81 double is not. So I'm not expecting a big day today, but we still have player SBCs that we're expecting, right? A flashback player SBC is still on the cards. Um, we still have an icon player SBC that's either going to come between today and Sunday. So we're watching out for that as well. We don't have any leaks for an icon player SBC or for maybe who another versus player SBC would be. All we have is the Gavi leak. Of course, we have the uh, Welbeck, which I don't know if they forgot about Welbeck. He's the flashback player we're expecting, but uh, no idea where he's going to be and when he's going to be dropped. I do think we almost have to get a player SBC today, though. Um, I just don't know who it will be. Now, one card that I don't think that it will be, but it was leaked for upcoming content this weekend is Solanke has one player of the month. Um, you know, deserved. I'm going to say that 100%. Deserved. I hope EA juice this card up. He has an 86 rated inform. It's three star, three star, and he doesn't have that many traits. Um, but hopefully they juice this card up and give him either a, a weak foot or a skill move upgrade or both, and they make it cheap. So over Hyunmin Sun, over Cold Palmer, over Trent Alexander Arnold, Solanke won player of the month with six goals. Man, I, I tell you guys a lot with these player of the month votes, the goals count so much even though sun had eight goal contributions he had four goals and four assists six goals alone outweighs that and probably the month that bournemouth had as well that's how he gets he wins the award so solanke won player of the month sbcs for these are usually dropped on fridays but ea did not say that it's in their uh content for this week but i think this is going to drop on friday i think they may be messed up so either this friday or next friday for our player of the month solanke but hopefully it's cheap kind of like the harry Maguire was they give him a nice boost and make it cheap that's my hope for the Solanke. And then also yesterday, we had an end of an era leak. And FIFA Trading Romania tweeted this out and said, end of an era, French card. And he said, soon. And right away, my mind went to, since I'm a Tottenham fan, went to Ugo Yuris. And a lot of people seem to think that this may be who is getting an end of an era card because he is announcing that he's moving on from Spurs. He's headed to the MLS. And if Ugo Yuris were to get a end of an era card, that would be a pretty nice 
goalkeeper SBC that you would probably want to do, especially if he is released as a Tottenham card. You don't know, right? Right now, still, he's in packs as a Tottenham card. Usually, they don't start to add transfer players in until like February. So I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work, but Yuris is a solid goalkeeper card all year long. And of course, this one will be upgraded probably pretty high. They do nice boosts for end of an era cards. Remember the Rapino, the Krieger from earlier on this year, pretty solid boosted cards. He's a French Prem goalkeeper. Those links are always in demand and they will fit almost anybody's team. So if that is a good SBC in terms of the boost that he gets and the price, that could be a good one as well. So I think we're getting some sort of player SBC today on Thursday, 100% and the marquee matchups. And then maybe guys, I guess a little bit of a shout for this evolution that would be called the icon evolution. I don't know what else they would call it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that icon evolution is crazy, man. I just think it's going to end up being disappointing. And I think from what I remember from the hero upgrade as well, that one was a bit disappointing. But this one feel like, feels like it maybe is going to hit a little bit harder and be even more disappointing just because there's so few icons that fit into it. And man, if they just adjusted the requirements a little bit, a lot more would fit. Like I was so hoping, imagine for all of us that did the Blanc SBC Imagine if you could Evo this Blanc, right? How far off is he from getting evolved? I mean, all we would need is the minimum shooting to be not there anymore, and you could Evo him. I know you get a, a big shooting boost, plus four, plus three, but like, I would I would upgrade my Blanc for, to get 81 pace uh, and to get better passing and a little bit better dribbling. Um, his defending is 90, sweet. Boosting up his physical uh, by plus two, sure, sign me up. Like, this is a club legend for so many people, and a ton of people have him in their clubs. So that'd be crazy if we were able to evolve him, but it's looking like we're not going to be able to. And if somehow EA mess up that Evo and they allow all icon types, this Rude Hullet's going straight in. If I can upgrade this card through an Evo at any time, he's going into it because this card is absolutely mental in game. I love this Rude Hullet card. I know he's overpriced, but he's so, so good. I feel like it's, it's worth it in a sense because of uh, how crazy his card is. So, guys, that's kind of the content for today. Probably going to be a bit quiet, but hopefully we get a little bit more today than yesterday because yesterday we literally just had the team of the week and that was it. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. We'll be talking about all this stuff more, looking at all the leaks. As always, that link is down below in the description. I'll see you guys there. It's been Nathan with Count. Catch you guys there. Peace.